Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to load CSV file into Snowflake table from internal name stage using copy command. This is the first video from Snowflake real time scenarios. Here is the file name contact.csv. This file having four columns ID, name, contact number, address. This file is separated by comma and we are not supposed to change the file contents and here we have a two rows and if you see id is the one and name is Virat and 1234 is the contact number and the rest of value should be considered as address in a similar way here also this one should considered as a address and after loading the, this file into snowflake table called contact the expected output from contact table should be like this select star from contact id 1 comma 2 name virat and abc contact number and address here so please note that in the address column we have a comma separated values so this is the expected output let's see same in action Here what I am going to do, I am going to use the dev engineer underscore fr role which is custom role and I am going to use the dev db and the schema name is hr. Here I am going to create as part of the first step, create or replace table contact with id, name, contact number and address. id is the number, name is the where care, contact number is the number and the address is where care. So contact table has been created now i am going to describe the table structure see we have a total four columns id name contact number address okay so what i am going to do i am going to create a stage internal name stage create or replace stage stage name contact underscore stage so stage area contact underscore stage successfully created now i am going to display the files from this stage so right now we don't have any files so how to copy contact contact.csv file into named in okay internal stage from your computer so we can do this by using the put put command or we can do it from snow site directly so if you want to execute the put command you have to install your client like snow sql or any other client program like you know python connector something like that jdbc driver okay now what i am going to do let me go back to here here if you go to uh, you know under data you will see db database name under database name hr inside hr just now we have created a stage called contact stage select the contact stage and then in the right side top right side you will see plus files click on that and you can browse wherever you have a file from your system okay this is the contact okay so once you select that file and then click upload button so zero oh yeah one file updated here okay now come back to worksheets here and go to your worksheet and then list again okay so <clears throat> please note that one difference here when you load when you copy file from snow site the default file will not okay compressed when you use the put command from put uh, you know snow sql default the file will be compressed okay now what i am going to do i am going to create a file format because this is the csv file create or replace file file format and file format name type equal to csv skip header is equal to one because in our file headers are there so we, we have to ignore while loading them so field delimiter is the comma so here i am going to create file format uh, <coughs> successfully created now i am going to load this okay using this file format okay from stage 
So using the copy command. This is the copy command. Copy into table name from our stage and what is the file name and then file format. Okay. So here I am going to use uh, run. I am going to run the uh, copy command. Here we got the error. The number of columns in file six does not match that the that the that of the corresponding table four. So inside file we have a six columns but table having only four columns use file format option error underscore on underscore column count mismatch is equal to false to ignore this error so let's try that also we have a this error now what i am going to do i am going to create i am going to replace the file format with extra parameter error on column count mismatch okay here i am going to create this file format file format name is the same but this time i included this parameter to avoid above error which we got so now i am going to run again copy command before running copy command let's check data from this contact table So we don't have any data. Table is empty. Now what I am going to do? I am going to run copy command along with new parameter which we added. So now this time contact file has been loaded and parse to rows loaded to error limit default to 1. And if you see the status is loaded. That means it's successful. Now I am going to check the data from this table. Here we have ID, name, contact, data has been loaded. But if you see an address, this is not complete address. We missed the data from flat file. Okay. So because of some extra columns are there. So we have created our file format as a comma separated. Hence, we missed some data from the address field. So this is not our expected output. How we are going to do? Now what I am going to do? I am going to create a new file format contact underscore ff type is equal to csv skip pattern is equal to one and field delimiter here i am going to change the field delimiter as you know now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a file format so file format has been created with the delimiter like this now i'm going to create a table stage table with single column src and where care so we are going to load the entire row into single column okay so stage table successfully created now we'll see data from this table there is no data now i'm going to run the copy command into stage underscore contact table and file format is equal to contact underscore ff we just now created this file format okay now contact as yes we loaded two rows rows parsed okay status is loaded now let's see data from the table so we have loaded everything into single column entire row from a uh, file we have loaded into single column okay two rows are loaded now we have to low uh, copy this i mean load the data or insert the data from the stage table to stage contact table to contact table by using normal insert statement so for that let me truncate the data because we have a some invalid data which which was not expected one so now i am going to run the insert statement by using the three built in functions one is the split part to extract the id from the src column based on the first comma before first comma and the split part second comma and split part third comma and the fourth one address we are i am using here the combination of substring and sub, uh, regular express instr so that it will read the data from the fourth comma onwards okay so till end so let me run this one before running the insert statement i am going to run the please select statement over here see here this is the what expected output what we expected okay so here we are not going to miss by doing 
like this. Now what I am going to do instead of select statement, I am going to run the insert statement from stage table. This is not copy command. This is the normal insert statement command. Copy command we use to load the data from file to stage table as a single column. Okay, now I am going to run the number of rows inserted two. So here if you see select star from employee, now we have a expected output from our table. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like it and share it to our friends. Thank you once again.